What is going on? Welcome back to Financial Journey. So today I want to talk to you about NEO. I want to go over some of the current data points, break it down on what shorts are doing, and ultimately, what is NEO's problem? So I'm going to go over all that, but first make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. And with that said, let's get right to it. So the market's been open almost one hour. It is down 3.13%. 6.7 million shares have been traded. 49.8 is the average. You can kind of tell it does want to break out but there is a very strong resistance point that's really holding it back. So I'm going to talk all about that. But so far, pre-market and during the trading day has been rather boring. Today, there's been no news, no SEC filings to really justify today's downtrend other than just a lot of speculative articles. So a lot of articles are coming out saying that EVs coming from China are just in oversupply, just too much. There's not enough demand. So I think NEO is getting dragged into that as well as oddly, a lot of people are starting to cycle back to the rating that came out about four days ago um, as you can kind of see right here so McQuarrie if I'm saying that right Eugene who does have a 67% success rating did initiate coverage on Neo gave a $5 price target so I've already covered this in my previous video and I saw that as very optimistic especially that we are at three dollars and change and they're seeing five dollars but a lot of people are just overthinking it because mcquery i guess did a lot of ratings across the board for evs and so a lot of articles are saying well you know what eugene gave a better percentage increase for other chinese automakers so that does mean that neos maybe trash or kind of not top of the barrel if that makes sense so it's really just overthinking and in my opinion i don't think it's justified but what do i know right i'm not a financial advisor and i was on here just double checking so there hasn't been any recent uh, changes coming from analysts for upcoming earnings whether it be with earnings per share or revenue so i'll continue to monitor that going forward so i think in reality today is more so linked to its technicals as well as just lack of just interest coming from institutions because you can kind of see there hasn't been any large transactions over one hundred thousand dollars on the secondary market since the 12th so it has been a good week so institutions are just still completely overlooking neo there is also a lot of geopolitical issues going on at the same time so maybe that is linked in some way or another dark pool on the other hand is very very popular so far already three transactions above one hundred thousand dollars and then on the 18th very popular for that. This is more common and not linked to shorting. So I'll give you a quick overview of that. Right now, shorts are increasing about 62,000 shares. So even they're not doing all that much, probably they were somewhat disappointed. So I'll talk about that in a second. But utilization is 89.1. 14.7% of the free flow is being shorted. That works out to be 200.52 million shares overall are being shorted. And then cost of borrow average is 1.96. So the reason why shorts are probably disappointed is, I don't know, yesterday or like last night, there was a massive amount of fear in the market because rumors were coming out saying that Israel attacked Iran and it's just now it's going to be a World War III once again. Turns out all of that was fluff and it wasn't actually Israel doing any attacking. Again, that's just all rumors, so we'll just have to wait and see. But I think no doubtably shorts were probably very excited to buy that news saying that, hey, I'm going to double down. I'm going to like all the stocks are going to plummet. Even the futures were down like 1.7% on just the index itself. So I think in reality, shorts are somewhat disappointed today. So this is probably why they're not doing all that much. Looking at options, $257,000 in calls, 1.2 million inputs. So a lot of money is getting into NEO through options and 55% of all the options being done so far today are optimistic and of the call options there's a consensus for it to be above four dollars by the end of next week and then looking at puts there's a consensus for it to be sub 350 both are linked to the technicals so I'll give you an overview of that. So right now with it at $3.87, it is trading between this S3 and this S2, which is kind of concerning only because the broader market right now, any stock that is trading within this range is kind of seen as garbage, as bad as that sounds. So $3.23 is going to be that next strong support. And then $3.94 will be that next strong resistance. It did attempt to break out from that, as you can kind of see right here, but there wasn't really enough for it to stay there. Even pre-market, it just, it's a very unfortunate scenario that just without the lack of institutions physically holding it up, you are going to see it continue to trend down. 
And clearly that's what algorithmic trading is really feeding off of because they are signaling behind the scenes just the fact that it is destined to kind of trend down. So it does have a pivot point based on the Elliott Wave technicals of $4.68. So for as long as NEO is below that, then it is anticipated to get to this range. So the 316 to 339. And that does mimic right here over um, on this support point right here, $3.23. So I think AI is just assuming that NEO is going to continue to trend down and without institutions really buying NEO and supporting it, um, again, it's just a very unfortunate scenario all in all. But on the actual chart itself, so it is lower percentile of the boiling band, you do see it somewhat still considered oversold. You also see a nice bullish deviation, minor though, but white line above the red, but number of retail investors have been getting out. Of course, there's still a lot of fear in the broader market, so institutions could maybe be hesitant about getting into NEO because of that. But at the same time, that's really just hurting the underlying stock so much more. So institutions aren't really getting in as well as just retail appears to be selling. So let me know your thoughts on NEO in the comments below. Do you think it is going to get to maybe the low threes or possibly even lower? Or do you think that it is going to recover back into the $4 range and possibly higher? So what's your viewpoint on all of that? Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. And one final thing, make sure you guys definitely Definitely take advantage of this promo. Simply sign up for a new account, throw $100 at it, and they give you seven fractional shares of the MAG7, so a $35 total value. Pretty kick-ass deal. Link in the description below and also the comments. With all that said, appreciate all of you watching.